What's up everyone, welcome back to, well, not even back, no, this is a completely new Let's Play. Welcome to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch, not the Wii U version, not doing that. Uh, this here is my, yeah, you can see this is my current save file, all my current data. Um, we're doing a new game. <laughs> we're a completely fresh new Let's Play of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, this is, this is probably the most recent game, most popular recent game I've done. Uh, Pokemon, Certain Shield are too controversial. But yeah, we're gonna start Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, let's do it. I won't lie when I say I was very excited for this Let's Play. Uh, I was extremely happy. I was looking so forward to doing Breath of the Wild. And I think it's more due to the fact that uh, my my videos will now take about half as long to render because there's only a single asset, that being the video, and then any edits I need to make to that one thing. It'll be, oh, life. Oh, so much easier. That was a cutscene. We're opening our eyes. <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Man, the aesthetics of this game are amazing. <laughs> I'm trying not to speak in case, uh, you know, the voice wants to continue. Oh, okay. This is Breath for the Wild, my friends. We got a quick tutorial that we got to go through, so we'll do that all. But... Chica Slate. Always need that Chica Slate. We know. I don't want to. If you say so. A mysterious tableau with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the plot points are just right in, just right there. We got pants. Oh, gotta learn how to press the buttons. And a shirt. I'm gonna, if you keep hearing like clicking or any noises, that is probably the sound of me attempting to have the volume going, but at the same time, not too damn loud. So you guys hear it from my mic. Up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Man, a belt with perfect clips to fit the tablet. <laughs> Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Link, you are the light. Our light. That 
must shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Now we can play the game. Always got the stamina meter. Uh, for all those who've played Skyward Sword and get PTSD looking at that thing, I'll have you know, uh, it's not as bad. It's not as bad. To, that is the least of your concerns is your stamina. And the shot that sold millions of copies, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'll say it one more time, because it appeared. This game revolutionized Zelda, and maybe it'll revolutionize my channel, so we're going to play this game. And it looks like there's a old fella. We now have a weapon. <laughs> it is uh, a stick, but it's still a weapon. I'll do myself a favor now and <laughs> gather some food. Now, as we continue to walk, I just want to say there is DLC for this game. I have not played it and I do not own it. But if any one of my videos during my last play reaches 30 likes, that's the goal. If any video could be this one, could be the next one, could be the freaking last one. If any video reaches 30 likes, I will buy the DLC and play it on top of the main game. I will be doing the complete main story. I will be getting the true ending, which entails things that I'll get into at a later point because it's kind of, kind of spoilers, kind of not, but... I beg your pardon? I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, -ho, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself an apple in an open fillet and make for a succulent treat. It's a bit strange seeing another soul in these parts. Bro, who are you? You're cloaked and clearly you have a beard, so. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where the hell are we? Answering question for question, that's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meetings would be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the entire birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. That is not... That temple there long ago was the site of many sacred ceremonies. You're not. My friend, you pointed in, like, diagonally, and there is a wall quite literally blocking that. I refuse to believe you're trying to tell us that. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. You got up. Ah, stay nice and warm. Okay, we are on fire, never mind. Hey, would you look at that? We're just gonna... Nope, he doesn't notice. Okay, we're taking the axe. All axes are good axes, and I stand by that. And we got a lizard. High tail lizards are going to end up being slightly important uh, later on, so I would recommend if you find one, attempt to grab it. There are a few things in this game that are a bit annoying that you're going to want to start uh, doing as soon as you can. Oh wait, yeah. If you can't reach something, chop it down. The beauty of this game is there is like 50 things you can do with every little object. Now, obviously, you know, some trees are just too damn thick, but others 
that are thin and scrawny are easy. Oh. Think. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. Shrine of Resurrection is where we just were, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, and we are supposed to follow this leak, the Sheikah Slate here. That is also our objective. So, you know, that's the game's way of saying, go do that. F oh, hello, friend. I'll take an extra tree branch. You never know how, how useful all those could be. Wow, you are stubborn. Oh, oh. Never mind, you are completely dead. Okay. A lot of enemies in this game that we're going to get to be seeing. Those were bow goblins. My Zelda knowledge is really going to show with this game. Uh, <laughs> I like the franchise. I do. I do. Uh, I've played this, both Hyrule Warriors, Link Between Worlds. That's it. That's the extent of my Zelda knowledge through the main games and not watching people's Let's Plays or anything. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, no, my Zelda knowledge is limited. And I'm going to be butchering things left and right, so just don't, don't. And the, every time I mess up, put it in the comments below. Uh, Maybe I'll do a compilation at a later point of all the times I mess up my Zelda knowledge in this game. Ooh. Oh, oh yes. Uh, so, oh, the weirdest mechanic in this game. You can just chuck your sword. Oh, he's coming around. He's coming around. Coming around. Got him. Oh. Weapons also break in this game, so that's why you want to stock up any chance you get, because at any moment, your weapon stash can be depleted instantly. Uh, and trust me, it'll probably happen at some point if you're playing the game or just during this Let's Play, because it happens to me fairly a lot when I was just playing for fun. So, I'll take an extra Boko Club. I don't mind that. And we got a treasure chest here with better pants. I'll take better pants. Also, armor in this game have numbers along with weapons. That's your damage or defense total. So, you know, these pants give three, these pants give one. These are superior by default. This weapon gives two, this weapon gives four. Yeah, it's, it's simple numbers. Higher, no, bigger number means better in terms of whatever it is. So for weapons, it would be attack. And for... Okay, this is nothing. Um, and for clothing, it would be defense because clothing protects you. I guess. These, these are just a shirt and pants. But according to the game, that's, that's more than enough armor. Oh yeah, we're also going completely the wrong way from the uh, the thing, but we are at the Temple of Time. That's a a reference to um you know another Zelda game that has the word time in it, the word ocarina. Yeah. Now let's, if I remember correctly, there was a thing here, which is why I wanted to come here, because there was importance besides the fact that there would be story importance here at a later date. Arrows, well, I wasn't supposed to be getting that yet. Oh, uh, there's a bow. I, I, I think everyone figured that out. Yeah, there is a bow. Um, I think my thumbnail gave away most of the, the things that will be revealed in the tutorial. It's not a secret. By any means. Um, is there any... Thing? Okay, it's been so long since I've, like, played the start of this game. So, excuse me for not remembering 
literally anything. I honestly don't remember like anything about the start of this game. I just remember, um, oh. I just remember sitting here struggling at a certain part because I was dumb. And uh, when that part happens, I'll, I'll get to it. Ah, uh, yes, there is a chest. I knew it. And like every Zelda game, if you see a pot, smash it. There we go. That's why I wanted to come here. That's the bow. So the current menu at the top, it'll have, you know, our, our sword with the, the right on the D-pad. If you press the ZR button, it'll bring up your bow and arrow selection with left on the D-pad being your arrows and right being your bows. Bows have the same type of values as weapons. Arrows just have quantity as they are in limited supply. So stock up. Let us pray for a minute. The goddess statue smells upon you. We'll come back to the statue in about two episodes, I would say. I give it two episodes till we come back here. Um, Maintenance. Not for the plot of relevance, I'm talking about for the, the literal statue. You're also going to be seeing me doing a ton of various tricks using the various moves Link can perform in this game to, well, not die. So as, as I go over them, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, the more common ones I'll show you. What I did just there is not take fall damage by trying to cling to a wall. It'll, it's a quick way to prevent any form of damage taken. Speaking of damage, here's what I like to call um, boredom. So at various parts of the map, you'll find Wokoblins or other enemies that we haven't seen yet, just chilling, at basically. Um, and what you can do is, for means besides rushing in there, murder them. For example, there was this rock here. It's a bit of a puzzle. And they are dead. Without me having to fight them. Now this is an early game area, so that's simple. Some other ones may ha be a bit more complicated. But you should be able to figure most of them out easily. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, unless I'm mistaken and there's a very hard one because... This game is so massive, and I ain't no completionist, so I haven't seen anywhere near the complete amount. And there's another area here. There's a lot of big-ass skulls located everywhere, and these contain more bokoblins. You can also aim. Uh, if you want to aim with your bow and arrow, it's the right stick. L is moving. Right stick aims it. Or you can do motion controls to miss completely and warn all the other Bokoblins. That was a mistake. Oh God, oh, oh, there's a blue one. He has a shield. If you hit an enemy directly in... <sighs> um, there you go. If you hit an enemy directly in the head, it'll basically be like their sweet spot and do a bit more damage. Oh, we have a shield. And a spiked Boko Club. Man, these things are so much better. Shields, uh, it's they work with ZL. So, if you press ZL, you will go into a guard stance and you shield. There are different weapons. We did see with, that, with the axe that Link used two hands. If you're using a two-handed weapon, you will not be able to use the shield. So, you know... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Here you go. Works for me. I am stocking up. You can just guard these if you really want. It'll remove durability from your shield, but you can just guard. Anyway, we'll take your bow. It's a bit weaker. Ooh. 
Yep, uh, that sound right there. Yeah, hit an enemy in the head to do critical hit, more damage. If you can, aim for it on mini bosses. I think they're mini bosses. I don't know if they're considered normal bosses. We'll get to those. Uh, those usually will put them in a st stunned state and allow you to do more damage to them. So I'd recommend looking for the head at all points. There's going to be a lot of tips and tricks at the start of this because we're in the middle of the tutorial. And we just got fire arrows. I'll talk about what the fire arrows do next time. Thank you all so much for watching this. I have been so excited to play Breath of the Wild again, and I've been so excited to play on recording, and I am really looking forward to this Let's Play. So if you could please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see me play the DLC, 30 likes on any video. I might lower it to 20 at some point, but like if you can get 30 on a single video, I will do the DLC. Yeah, I'll do both parts. Like I'm doing the whole thing. I will be going for true ending. And I'll probably get into all that stuff more after the tutorial. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to share and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time where we play this beautiful, amazing game.